So this movie, um, apparently, I think it was the Cannes or Cannes Film Festival, uh, people walked out of this movie because it was so controversial for some reason. And I kept hearing a lot of crap about this movie that it was supposedly the new human centipede and other weird things and that it was a very disturbing movie and all this. So I watched this yesterday, unfortunately, and um, it was it was just boring. There was something slightly controversial, I guess, but not not to the extent where okay, if I had seen this in the theater, I don't think I would have walked out at any point. I probably would have fallen asleep, but I don't think I would have walked out. It, it's just boring. It's drawn out. I don't, I'm not sure if I could even explain this movie to you. So, um, I think his name is Vigo Mortison. The guy who, um, yeah, the guy who plays Aragorn in Lord of the Rings. Him and, uh, this chick from the last Bond movie are, uh, like these sideshow people that are going around doing a sideshow th sideshow act at circuses or something where this guy, so Viggo Mortensen is this evolved guy apparently that keeps growing new organs and it makes it hard for him to eat or something and in the future too also that this is another weird premise in the future, apparently, people have evolved to where the only way they can get off or have any new sort of uh, sexual stimulation is by extreme, extreme pain or hurting yourselves. But then at the same time, and I'm not sure if a company did this or they're saying evolution did this, they made pain where it doesn't hurt you. So this one guy in there makes a good point, and he's saying, if you can't feel pain, how do you know that you don't have a broken arm or leg or something? We need this sense to tell us what's going on here with our bodies if something bad happened, which is a, a valid point made, which I don't know why this was thrown into the movie, but it was. And... um. This is really hard to get through because this movie is just... So halfway through the movie, uh, they meet Kirsten Stewart and this other guy who are organ registrars with the government. Because I guess this isn't the only person that's doing this. For some reason, evolution has made a lot of people able to grow organs now. That's what I mean. This movie just... I don't understand why they were saying it was so controversial. It was just, it was just boring. I, that's all I can really say about it. Let's see if they got pictures in here. Well, this is just mostly press release crap. You can't play these trailers. That's the other thing too. Is um, Viggo Mortensen here? The only way he can eat and do things a lot is to lay in this I don't know what this thing is some type of cocoon thing or something and I guess these are organic robots that cut him or do something to give him arousal or something it's just very weird so uh, Kirsten Stewart shows up halfway through the movie and she's like um, She's with the register people of the government trying to figure this out or whatever. But she's like this uh, perverted weirdo who gets off seeing the seeing the people like have their organs removed or something. Oh, that's the other thing too is um, the sideshow guy. They they show one of these circus things or whatever. So 
these people are all standing around and he's lying in this lying in this cocoon thing and his girlfriend or whatever that lady comes out and she does this big elaborate speech and all this and Kirsten Stewart and this guy are there watching this whole thing so the lady cuts up Vito Morgensen and you can see his chest the insides and everything and she goes and takes out this organ and Kristen Stewart almost cream pies from the thing. It's very, very perverse and weird. Like, Kristen Stewart, most of this movie is standing by a wall pretending to orgasm. It's very... I, I don't know. You might as well just watch porn or something. That's all I can tell you. It's The movie comes off when I think about it now as, like, fetish porn. Because the whole thing is, like... They sexualize your organs on here. Like, it's this huge thing with her and the other people, and they get all excited. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know what to tell you. If, if you want to see a weird but boring movie, this, this is it for you. It's not the new human centipede. I don't know why people were saying that. It's just... It's just boring. It's just really boring. Oh, and then at the beginning... There's some kid on there, and he's with some, I guess, Puerto Rican lady, or they're in Brazil or something. And there's this kid who can't eat normal food. The only thing he can eat is uh, plastic and metal. So his mom buys this, like, fancy trash can that she's all proud of. And then he's, he takes it and runs off in the bathroom. And he's literally eating this thing. So the mother goes crazy and offs the kid because he's, I don't know, just a bitch, a crazy bitch or whatever. And then the dad finds out. And the dad, so get this, th this is another weird thing. The, the dad has a business where he's selling candy bars made out of liquid plastic and metal or something for people like the kid that could eat eat they could it could eat this and live so he's trying to be like some sort of a a drug cartel guy or something making candy bars made of plastic for these people since they evolved or whatever and then he decides to offer his dead son to Vigo Mortison so they can open him up during a live stream or whatever like they're doing with this circus act and that that was the only thing i found a little bit perverse was well i'm assuming that's like a dummy on there i don't think that was a real kid laying there but they had a human-like mannequin laying there of a 12 year old boy that was buck naked and you saw everything and i've kind of fast forwarded through that part because that was that, that kind of bothered me but other than that, man, it's just really fucking stupid and boring. So they keep hinting towards the end that Viggo, see, Viggo Mortensen starts getting obsessed that this kid that died can eat uh, plastic and all this crap. And then uh, he's trying to get the organ out because he wants to put it in his body for some god awful reason so he doesn't have to eat food anymore. And he can just live off eating plastic and metal or whatever. But they never show it. And at the end, he's trying to eat. Um, well, that's the other thing, too, is when people eat on here, they have to sit in these weird Beetlejuice chairs. Like, they can't, um, they can't sit normally and eat. Like, they have to try to eat in these Beetlejuice-looking chairs. And... The chairs, um, I guess what they're doing is, is they're activating muscles or something, or it's like shaking them around so that they can try and eat this food, and it, it's just very weird, man. Like, the whole thing is just, it's just very weird. That's all I can tell you, man. So, um... Oh yeah, here's the kid. This is the kid that's eating the met the the trash can. 
This is the kid. He he dies on there just because his mom's a crazy bitch. I, I can't advise you watch this, but if they ever put this on TV, they're going to have to remove that end scene with the kid. And I guess Kristen Stewart fake orgasming at every time somebody slices a body open. All right, well, I don't know what else to say, but I didn't find this extremely controversial except for the kid at the end, which maybe people walked out on that. I just I just skipped over it, I fast forwarded or whatever, because it was that that did kind of bother me. Like, why do they have a a new twelve year old boy on there, which is a bit weird. Um, other than that, there's no story. There's no real plot or anything. It says Viggo Mortensen going around with his girlfriend or wife or whatever trying to do a sideshow where they take out organs that he keeps creating for some reason because he's highly evolved. I don't know. Other than that, um, I, I wouldn't suggest watching this. Like I said, if you see it on TV, maybe. But if you see it on TV, they're going to take 90% of the movie out, I guess, because it's just, it's just fetish porn, basically. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.